In today's video, we are gonna go over the top five medications that we use to manage pain in ICU. Stay tuned. What is going on, beautiful nurses? This is Cordero, welcome back to A Couple Nurses. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the top five medications that we use in the ICU to manage pain. Uh, before we dive into this quick video, be sure to like, share, subscribe. As always, if you find any value in this video, put Nurses Rock down in the comment box and any questions that you may have as well. Medication and pain management are huge in the ICU. A lot of people don't realize that whenever patient's sedated, that is a very uncomfortable thing. So you have this this tube that's going essentially down your throat and to leave that patient with no kind of pain management is, is just really cruel. Let's break down the top five. And before we get into the top five, I do want to tell you guys that medication doesn't always need to be used for pain. So do use your non-pharmacological um, strategies for managing pain. A warm compress I have found to really, really help patients. So, you know, a warm rag on their head or a warm rag around their neck um, really, really helps. And then also, you know, uh, what I'm about to dive into is a lot of opioid things. So never, never uh, dismiss something like IV Tylenol. I think that helps a lot as well. The number one medication that I've used to help manage pain is fentanyl. And the way that we have fentanyl at our hospital is we have them in a, like a locked up in a, um, a uh, medication pump or a PCA pump. And it's just a continual infusion. Fentanyl is one of those things that you don't want to leave a patient on too long at all, if at all, whenever you extubate, because all these medications that are opioids do suppress respiratory drive. That is very, very important. Do not leave your patient on a fentanyl drip if they are not intubated. That is super important, super key. And as soon as you can start winning that fentanyl, please start winning that fentanyl, guys. I hate coming in and seeing a patient maxed out on fentanyl for three to four days, that is how you start an addiction and it, it, it sucks. So advocate for your patients. The next one that we use is morphine. So morphine is not as strong as fentanyl. It's, it's a fraction of the, uh, the strength of fentanyl. But for patients that are, you know, have acute pain, uh, morphine is a, is a good injection that helps them uh, momentarily. It does not last for a long time, but we do use it a lot in the ICU on a uh, PRM basis. The next medication I'm going to go over is Norco. Uh, so Norco is very common. We, Norco is nothing but hydrocodone and Tylenol. So we have five or 10 of Norco and you have it in 325 of Tylenol. Um, so this, these help, this helps a lot. I like, it's usually given orally or if a patient um, has like an NG tube, you can get, you crush it up and give it through an NG tube. Oh yeah. If your patient is going through liver failure, know that um, Tylenol does metabolize through the liver. So this is something that you just want to take into consideration. It may take a while to get out of their system. You don't want to load them up and, um, and have adverse effects by giving them too much Tylenol. We also use oxycodone. Um, oxy is very common, especially when we're trying to start weaning patients off some of these high dose um, opioids like fentanyl. This is a good replacement to try to start tapering down. And then the last one that we use is just a regular oral hydrocodone. So I went over Norco earlier, which is nothing but hydrocodone and Tylenol. But then we just use regular oral hydrocodone on its own as well. So that's it. Nice, quick and easy. Uh, hella opioids, but you know, as professionals, we do have to um, take in mind that we can start weaning these things when we have a chance to, and you have to really advocate for your patient. And if somebody does come in with um, an addiction problem already, just just know that you're not going to fix their addiction problem within a couple of days in the hospital. So if somebody needs their medications, give them their medication, you know, see if you can consult them to some kind of um, substance abuse program or some kind of behavioral health management. Um, but it's not our job to be withholding medications if a patient says they're in pain. So that's really one of my things that I, I think about a lot. And, um, you know, if you, I have a sister that struggles with, um, you know, addiction. So and I've seen her in the hospital and I've seen how how the nurses and the, the other staff treat her. And it's, it's just different. So if you're not in that situation, then <laughs> then uh, it's kind of hard to relate to. But hope you guys found some insight from this video and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.